What's up everyone? I want to share with you uh, a tool that I use daily, actually throughout my day. Uh, it is LastPass and I would strongly encourage everyone to get this. Um, I don't say that about a lot of things where everyone should have this, but really everyone should be using LastPass. It's a phenomenal tool. Um, what it is is a password management system. Uh, you may be wondering if you need a password manager. Well, let me help you out and tell you that yes, you do. Um, today you have to have much more sophisticated passwords that um, can outlast much stronger attacks. These days you can uh, have a computer fire off a billion combinations per second. So if the, someone knows a little bit about you, like what street you grew up on, or a couple, you know, a little bit of information, they can throw a lot of combinations at it. So ideally you want an impossible to guess password. Uh, not hard to guess, impossible to guess. And that's typically random letters and numbers, upper and lower case, strung together. Um, and at least 15 characters, more is better. And most important, they need to be completely different for every website. Well, if you think you can remember those on your own, good luck. But for the rest of us, uh, we needed a good password manager. And what does a good password manager do? Well, first and foremost, it actually doesn't know your password directly. Thus, it can't give it to someone else. This is key for uh, for for, for some site like this. So if LastPass were to have itself hacked or expose all their information uh, on the web, ultimately your information would still be encrypted and they could not, someone could not get your uh, bank account uh, login information. So what LastPass does is it has zero knowledge um, storage of your information. It saves it as a as hashed up uh, data that only you can decipher with your master password. We'll get into that later. Um, you want it easily accessible while browsing the web on your computer. Uh, you want to be able to grab it, your information from other computers without low, without much risk of being compromised. Um, and you want to make it difficult for others to access. So along with a good password, you want to have some other authentication. So two-factor authentication. LastPass does all of this for free. Um, they do have a premium service, which costs $12 a year. Um, I pay for it just because I want to support the product, but if you can't, you can still get a phenomenal password program for free. Um, and LastPass is significantly better than its competitors, and it's rare you'll see this in the tech industry. You know, with OneNote and Evernote, you know, there's pluses and minuses to both, but LastPass is just better than its uh, competitors. Uh, Dashline is out there. It costs $40 a year instead of 12 and uh, and the free version of it doesn't give you nearly as much as LastPass does. Um, others don't offer as much uh, functionality. Uh, McAfee's LifeSafe password manager just doesn't do as much. I think John McAfee's hilarious too, so I'd love to say nice things about him. He was a funny guy running for president. But LastPass is just uh, just a cool tool. So uh, I'm going to dive into some of the basics for it and hopefully get convince you to uh, sign up for it. So to get started, you're going to need to create a LastPass account for yourself. Um, there's a variety of ways to do this, but you'll probably have to start at LastPass.com. And you can use their web interface. I'm going to recommend using the extension that they provide I'm using Chrome here. Um, you can hopefully... Uh, see my extension it says LastPass. You just follow the instructions on their website to get this installed. But you'll click on that and click create an account. It's going to prompt you for your email address. You should use your real email address um, because it's going to send you alerts um, that you'll probably need to be aware of. So I'm just using this for an example. Create account. Now this next step is key. It's creating your master password. And this is very important for a variety of reasons. First, this is the only password you'll actually have to remember, hence this is where LastPass gets its name. Um, you will have to enter this password somewhat frequently if you're using this password, like once a day, so you has to, it can't just be something completely insane to type. Um, how secure your information is on LastPass is dependent on how strong your password is. So if LastPass were to be compromised or all of the information would be exposed on the web, how secure your information is depends on how strong your password is, so you need to do something that's definitely strong. They recommend eight characters. I personally would recommend a minimum of 20. Uh, random words plus a couple characters, something that's really impossible to guess but somewhat reasonable to remember. Uh, spaces are allowed. So I, here's an example one. I climb zippers faster 531%. That's pretty hard for a computer to guess that plus um, it's got some random punctuation in there and a special character. Hopefully you could come up with some way to remember that. 
um, that's just an example. It's 27 characters. Um, not really, you know, you don't really climb zippers, so it's not something that a text predictor could guess. Um, but again, hopefully you could remember that. Um, one other final important note, if you lose this password, uh, it's really hard, if not impossible, to recover your information. So it's not like, uh, you know, Yahoo or Google, where if you forget your password, they'll just reset it and send you an email. You need to have something that you can remember. So there's a couple backdoor ways to get it, but those aren't, I wouldn't even recommend setting those up. So you want to make sure you remember your password.